the little known Yubi branch, with a half mile long mineral line that ran from a junction on the Glasgow and Southwestern Railway main line, not far from the Annan Viaduct and Annan Railway Station in Dumfries and Galloway. It was standard gauge and first of all was built to serve the brick and tile works at Newby and then later extended to the Cochrane Boiler Works. Between 1898 and 1904 there was a small station based at, the, at Newby Junction itself. This was used only for the workers. Trains would stop in the mornings and in the evenings. The workers probably walked to their place of work being only roughly half a mile away. The Glasgow and South Western had provided a signal box on the southern side of the line to control the junction as well as the branch and mainline signals. To save money, the London Midland Scottish Railway closed this in 1934. The line ran into a passing loop then ran as a single track down to a metal bridge that crossed over the old mill burn, then ran down towards the works over a level crossing. Where it entered the works there was a double track section of line and then various branches off into various parts of the works. The area of the metal bridges is the old Newby Harbour, a pedestrian path used to pass underneath the embankment here through a, sh a short pedestrian access. The brick and tile works lines had closed by 1929. It's possible that the branch remained open for occasional use until the 1970s. Certainly there are memories of the locomotive known as Blinkin' Bess being used to give passenger rides on open days for the boiler factory. The track remains abandoned but in situ between the old metal railway bridge and where the level crossing was close to the factory. Further up the line towards the junction the, the track has been lifted. Apparently it was by the Ayrshire Railway Preservation Group in about 1983. The track was taken and was reused at Dunaskin. The line was also known as Cochrane and Co Siding. The diesel locomotive used on the line, known as Blinken Bess, um, has been taken to Dunaskin and preserved there by the Dune Valley Railway. <laughs>